Hello and welcome to Street Stocks at USA International. It's back to rookies for me. <laughs> I've uh, I've had a rough week this week. Haven't been driving too well in a lot of the races. So you know what? I'm getting kicked back to rookies. Um, in reality, I saw that... Uh, well, first of all, we're allowed to go into the rookie series again. I haven't taken advantage of this yet, but... Um, whereas the street stocks, the rookie street stocks, used to be closed off to anyone that was, well, not a rookie. They've uh, opened it up to everyone. I think it was the start of this last season, or this current season. And uh, I thought, you know what? That would be kind of interesting to do. This was my first ever car and track combo on iRacing, all the way back in 2013. And uh, even though I raced like seven races, I think, and then uh, didn't race anymore back then, and then like rejoined, I don't know, three years later. Uh, still, this was like the first track I practiced on, and uh, it's got a little bit of a nostalgia to it, right? So, um, maybe I can get back to basics. <laughs> and uh, relearn how to drive again after a rough week. That's Paul. The lap time was at twenty-two point nine. So, um, even though it's rookie street stocks, not really much of a rookie race here. It's just it's still the top split out here. And his second lap will be slower, it looks like. Yes, we have a 938. And the 22s, that's, I'm happy with that. Uh, not really a rookie race. There are no actual rookies in here. Um, there's one person that's in the rookie division, which means at the start of the season they were rookie level. But they are currently, like, D license or something like that. And uh, we are the number two. And a 2.2 strength of field, which is pretty average for what I'm normally getting uh, during the hours I'm able to race. So, rookie in quotes, but it is not the C uh, Street Stock series, so no cautions, which honestly I think is probably going to help the racing in the Street Stock. Uh, potentially, we'll see. And uh, pretty short-ish race, only 40 laps. So that should be... Pretty darn quick, I think. I'm kind of glad I got put on the inside. I was P2, now I am P3. Number one's very fast. That's the first point eight I've seen. I got 914 in the open practice for this one. So I was able to back that up pretty well in qualifying. Just a couple hundredths off. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I don't know what this race is going to look like. I don't know if it's going to be Rookie Madness or, like I said, not really actually any rookies in here necessarily. So maybe it'll be okay or maybe you want there to be rookies because then they're scared and not a, they're not willing to cl clobber people. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, obviously, but... We are waiting here. Uh, we got someone not in here, so we're going to have to wait the whole time, unfortunately. This glitch is still going on, um, where as soon as this gets around 1.30, this uh, qualifying will end. It's going to go away because of activity, quote-unquote. Yep, canceled due to activity. But uh, the secret is there is no activity. It's just, a, I guess, a glitch or something with it. So unfortunately, we will have to wait the full 1 minute 15 seconds or so. Because uh, this person's not here. That's okay. Guess I can go over what settings I've changed. I didn't really change much of anything. Uh, just moved my steering ratio down to 10. Don't think tire wear is going to be much of a thing. Um, might have to back up corners a little bit more later in the race. Maybe just have a little slower of laps, but I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. And uh, I like that extra turn I can get. And uh, the brakes felt fine at 56. It felt uh, a little loose on entry when I was pushing it to the limit, but not too much. Man, these numbers are freaking out. <laughs> um, so 
it it felt fine to me. I don't know if it's where I want it to be or not, or maybe uh, put it up and then, okay, you can't even put it up, can you? Huh, that's at its max. Interesting. I was going to say, like, maybe even you would want to put it up and then you can drive it harder and, you know, I don't know. Just theorizing, but when, what I've got right now is feeling just fine. 56%, so... We're ready to go, and we have held on to P3. Looks like if I want to gain I rating, I'll have to get a top three. We'll see. We'll see about that. But really, I just I just want to have a fun race. Hopefully, it'll be a fun one, and uh, experience street stocks at the USA once again. I think C, the C street stocks with the USA at one point, and I did that, but. It wasn't the real, true, rookie street stuff. So, this ought to be pretty good. I'm going to actually put up all-time optimal at first, and then switch over to last lap. So I don't think there's uh, going to be too much problem with just trying to be fast as long as I can. And then once uh, it's clear that I'm not going to be able to keep up those times anymore, then start just trying to be consistent. I guess. We'll see. We've got a fast repair, so we'll be ready to take that if necessary. But otherwise, just about ready to go. If everyone else is, we've got 55 seconds. I guess we might have to wait that full amount of time, though, for that one person to not show up. But we'll see. We'll see if we get the true rookie experience. Uh-oh, someone just lagged out. That was the person. And eighth. That sucks. Oh, we are uh, able to go. Happy birthday, Eric, by the way. I have no idea who that is, but happy birthday. Follow car number zero, one, <laughs> the inside column. When I see Eric spelled that way, the first person I think is Eric Chavez former third baseman for the Oakland Athletics. I don't know why. That's not even a relevant, like, modern example of an Eric, but apparently that's just the first thing I think of. One of the first baseball video games I had was MLB 05. It wasn't even the show at that point. It was just MLB 05, but it was the same studio or whatever. I think it was called 989 Sports at the time, though, and Eric Chavez was on the cover of that game. So I uh, remember that player a lot more than maybe others would because of that. One left to green. So happy birthday, Eric Chavez, I guess. <laughs> we uh, are going to be on the inside. I'm happy with that. Maybe we can get on the inside of the three if we get ourselves a good jump. But if not, that's fine too. Don't want to push too hard. I'm just going to try to have ourselves a nice, fun run. Not going to get too crazy. Okay, the car is in. Stay out of trouble. Let's go. Green flag, green flag. Outside. Might have been a third gear start. I'm not sure. Clear up top. Car Ooh. Outside. Outside is clear. All right, three gets in there. We did a good job of it. All right, gotta get into the rhythm now. Spin it. You can get these things pretty sideways and be able to catch it still, so. Feeling pretty okay about launching it in there, just don't want to overdo it. The leader has just done a 23.0. You've just done a 23.0. We'll see if I was wrong about uh, wanting to be nice to the tires. I'm actually thinking with how sideways we are getting it, it might be the right rear that we get on. So I might end up getting looser as this thing 
goes along. We'll see, we'll see. That's a new fastest lap for Garber, 22.9. The guy behind has just done a 23.0. Yeah, I'm basically drifting through the corner, taking it like that. Feels like I'm in the dirt street stock. Which is basically the same car. Not sure if the three actually got the wall there, if that was a prediction code thing. But it sure looked pretty scary. These guys are just a bit faster than me, I think. At least for now. Probably later as well. Three, going for the pass? Not quite. Oh, now he's... Okay, the one's giving it to him. Interesting. Interesting. More like Happy Birthday Kenneth, am I right? <laughs> Guy behind has uh, reeled us in a little bit. I have to keep an eye out right there. Let's keep a third eye on the rear view mirror in case we get any uh, attempts at a pass or anything. The one probably didn't want to be punted for the lead, so probably just gave it to him there. And we'll try to score it back later. Probably what the uh, thought process was as the three was on his bumper. That was, uh, 23.2. Oh. We got a huge gap back behind fourth. That's good to know. Could become useful information if the guy behind does start getting around us. At least we will have a gap to move into. I'm going to try to avoid getting quite as sideways as these guys are getting sometimes. Just in case the tires are going to get angry at me for doing so. Maybe I'll have an advantage if uh, they start losing control. But at the end of this lap, we will already be a fourth of the way through this one. Goal of top three looking okay right now. Though not guaranteed. Just by any means. Soon we'll, we'll find lap traffic here soon enough. I see him off in the distance there. Quite as much grip already. Already feeling it. Having to back it down a little bit more. Trying not to overdrive this thing. Session last lap. About time for that, I think. Let's just try to keep it near 0, 0.00. Or better. Better's good too, if we can pull that off. That lap time was 23.3. Yeah, that was a pretty good corner. Try to keep that up. Oh, did he actually get it that time? Hard to say. If he did, he got away with it. Uh-oh. Not necessarily what I want to hear. I guess they're moving now. I don't see any slow cars up high. Trying to keep it smooth on the inputs. Getting back on throttle gradually. Seems to really help our uh, mid corner and exit speed. Got a little 
low there. Whoa, the one getting sideways. I had a bad corner though, and that didn't help me catch up to him much. Lap times are pretty consistent. Hmm. Still about 0.4 behind. That's been about where he's been behind us for a while. Lap traffic coming up. See how that goes. I've had them muted this whole time, so hopefully they haven't said anything important. Your lap time was 23.3. Alright, very well done by the lap car, giving plenty of room and getting us all by him. Thank you to him. Three going a little wide there. Looks like he slid through the corner a bit. Thank you for that 12. Hmm. Will we clear this left car? Will we get through this corner? No. There, He's going to compromise our exit a bit. Clear outside if you want it. That lap was at Hurt this corner. It's about a tenth from that. So unfortunately, he was not as helpful to us, but he still didn't do a terrible job. Just didn't completely back out like the other guy. But he did hold a higher line and was not in the racing line, so okay, he did what he needed to do. And see just all that time we lost last lap, a whole 10. I'm trying. I'm not really catching these guys, though. They're kind of pulling away, if anything. That lap was at 23.3. Guy behind, I think we've got a little bit of a comfortable lead on, though, at least. I'm going to push it a little bit more, see if we can gain anything. Over halfway now. You've just done a 23.3. Slid a little bit on entry there, that wasn't great. getting back on throttle, I think, on that one. A little bit of a mistake from the one. Just a tiny one. Tiny one from one. <laughs> Entered a little softer that time. Didn't really change much. Reeling them in a little bit. It's one thing to catch them and one thing to pass them. Whole another thing. So, let's see uh, that's in the cards. Does have a bit of a bobble. Not yet there yet though. Kind of backed off a little bit there because I didn't want to get the back of them. Made us a little bit slower. Oh god. That car getting sideways. That's scary. That distracted me. <laughs> Best left, he says, after having the moment of moments. Outside. Clear outside if get you want it done. You've just done a. This is fun, though. This has been a great race. Trying to do everything I can to catch up. We're matching race pace. Hmm. 
using just the tiniest bit of throttle to get a little extra speed mid corner without overdoing it. Seems to work. You get it done right. I need to get a run though on the guy ahead if I want to pass him. I'll need to uh, get a much better exit than him at some point. It's going to be hard to do unless he makes a mistake. Great job. Dead to go. Sure what that weed was. I think it was going defensive line for a second. Like it's road racing. Running out of time. That was a twenty-three point five. Oh, big mistake! Big mistake! Outside. The next car is the lead. Bigger mistake. That was unfortunate to watch from behind. Outside. It was unfortunate to watch from inside my car, too. Well, I assume that was an accident. We are back going, but we are very broken. Car behind is catching. The gap's now 2.8. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? Time was 23.8. Okay, so what the fuck right. are you doing? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. <sighs> How did I guess the one got away with it? It's just gonna go on his merry way whenever I got destroyed. Are you stupid mm -hmm. for real? Oh my god. Says uh, my wheels turned a little bit to the. Let's see here. It's like turned a little bit to the right. Yeah, you yeah. should fucking leave, you moron. Jesus Christ, man. Who's he complaining at if he's left? <laughs> oh well, that's how this whole week has gone. At least it wasn't my fault this time. Don't know exactly what did happen. Just kind of sucks. I finally set up a pass, and then he can't hold it together. And we suffer because of it. I feel like I set that up and I was patient and waited for the right opportunity and then he just immediately wrecks us and then gets away with it. So, uh, no good pass goes unpunished, I guess. But, we are P4, only a few laps to go. And should hopefully be able to hold on to this signal I'm down on, I don't know. Drive. Car is not going very fast. Not as fast as it could. It's not turning quite right or feeling quite right in general. But I think I can limp it back. I guess I'm lucky it wasn't worse. Two left to go. Two to Should go. be able to hold on to it. With 1.9 behind us, see, yeah, it's about 2.0. Two laps remaining. Well, that's unfortunate, but kind of just how this week has gone. No matter what I do, I end up in some sort of mess, whether it's my fault or otherwise. White flag. You've just done a 23.6. Well, that was a good run from all the top four. That is unfortunate what happened to you there, though, Colton. <laughs> yeah, that was all my fault. Hard for that. Chicken flag, chicken flag. That's all right. Accidents happen. Good, good race and good, good win. It's still pretty fun. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I feel horrible. Oh. It's all right. 
Pit lane speed limit is can't go into rookie hour. street stocks even if it's going to be top split with non rookies, and they'd be upset if something happens. <laughs> I stepped into the bull ring and I got hit. I got skewered by a bull. How could this happen to me? <laughs> 80, 74. So I was in the right rear. Interesting. So at least he apologized. I thought it was going to be another situation this week where I got wrecked by someone and they just never said a word. That's happened a couple times too on uh, things I haven't recorded. It's been a bad week, I swear to God. But uh, we will check out, see what happened to everybody in general. We'll see uh, what our wreck looked like as well. We still pulled it in P4, which will lose us 10 I rating, but could have been much worse. And uh, I feel like probably could have had second on speed. I don't think I would have caught the leader, but I felt like I was about to pass the one. Had that set up, I had the inside, and uh, bad things happened. Like what happens to the 12 here. That's bad. Typically don't want to take a bite out of the barrel. There's a pretend hit, you didn't actually hit that. Probably looks like uh, one of those that looked like where you hit it for us though. See the 11 self spinning. We had that very uh, unfortunate incident later as well. He's just really using up uh, as much of the outside as he can without hitting that angled wall. Really maximizing his turn in. Nine just gets a little bit of a scrape. Four making his way through lap traffic and blinking. Here's that moment. Oh, I see. So he just continued to... Uh, he just continued to get sideways. Okay. So I saw he was really getting loose. He was really having some trouble in this particular corner. I guess he just entered a little too hard and it just wasn't gripping up for him. And so I'm seeing that and I'm like, there's my opportunity. Uh, I can get the run I need, get on the inside and then complete the pass entering the next corner. So I gun it up. I got the low exit, but what I don't know is uh, happy birthday, Eric is about to slap my door. Just barely too. He almost kept it off, kept it off of me. In fact, I think he might have, if not for a tiny bit of prediction code. Was he gonna hit me anyway? Yeah, he was gonna hit me anyway. I think with the rear of his car. I think that was gonna happen regardless. And unfortunately, it sends me to the right, and then uh, finishes me off. But I don't think he meant to do that either. I think he probably just couldn't slow it down. And then, uh... oh, I didn't see that the 11 hit us. Right in the engine. I'm very lucky that didn't like blow the engine or something. We were going slow enough, I guess. He hits us at 55. I mean, I'm almost stopped, but um, my momentum is going the other way. So, not as bad, not as hard as a hit as it could have been, I guess. Thankfully, I get going pretty quick. That's how I save my P4. And then, what started this thing you do with the 11? He just gets loose again, I guess. And then tries to correct it, but then gets in the grass, and he's just losing it, and then, yeah, just all the way back up in the traffic, just really having a tough time holding on to that thing. That almost looks like maybe they need to get their uh, field of view sorted out, might be a little too wide for them or something, and I don't know. But it can't get it under control, thankfully I'm able to, <laughs> to escape to the inside. Bunch of people are not able to, because I see that he's coming back up the track, so I'm like, all right, coming on over here. Just able to avoid it. I get my tires in the grass. What I have to do is just not overcorrect, keep it straight. And I just let the banking catch me, and then I just continue on my merry way. <laughs> How did the 12 get into it? 
He had an opening, and then I, I don't know if the tent's broken or something, but he's coming back to the right, and that door closes. So that was a rough one for a couple of guys. Unfortunate for the 11. He might genuinely be pretty new and just made some mistakes there and got in trouble. <laughs> the guy yelled at him. And that was the last major incident, reportedly. So we still get a top five, um, top four even. I'm uh, going to lose I rating, going to lose safety rating, but uh, it was still fun. Just revisiting the classic combo. Back in my day, we had USA and we had the we had Charlotte, you know, then known as Lowe's Motor Speedway, I think, unless it already switched over to just Charlotte. <laughs> but uh, back then, we had those two options in the Rookie Street stocks, and it just so happened to be here when I first joined, and uh, that's what it was, I guess. It, it definitely handled much differently back then, I remember. But uh, still cool to revisit it here. That was still pretty fun, and it was a good race until. Um, we got happy birthday, <laughs> but uh, that'll do it. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I had a fun time revisiting this, and uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one.